Hi everyone, as you can guess I drone my camera, but don't worry I'm happy to say my camera is still alive and actually I'm shooting this right now. So droning a camera is such a common and honestly it sucks. It's why I decided to record this video to share my tips how to save your camera and your life as well. But before that let me explain what happened. Me and my friends we went for a regular dive, we did a couple of dives and after that start shooting underwater content. Uh, on the last dive I start hearing some beeping and it wasn't from my watch. So I turn and start going back as fast as possible. On the surface I uh, check my camera and I realize there is water inside. So here is tip number one. You need to remove your camera from the water as fast as possible. In my case, uh, I opened it on top of the buoy, then I left uh, housing and start uh, swimming to the boat. If you dive in next to the boat, uh, better start to do is uh, on the boat itself. So the next step will be open all slots and remove as much water as possible. In my case, it wasn't water inside, so I just cleaned camera with paper towel, uh, removed my battery and memory card, also I detached my lens and let it dry. Another tip, don't put your camera on the direct sunlight, keep it in shadow. So if you will start Google how to dry your camera or any other electronic device, probably the number one answer it will be rice. But honestly, I don't like that method because it will take long, long time, from a couple of days, even to a couple of weeks. Plus, I don't like eating rice, so for me it's another reason not to use it. But I can suggest uh, desiccant or silica gel. Uh, basically, you can find it uh, anywhere inside of a uh, box of the shoes or bags or even sports supplements like a protein powder. I always carry a lot of them in dry ziplock bag uh, in case of emergency. In my case, I just clean camera and uh, housing, uh, put camera inside and put as many these bags as possible and let it dry. You will see how fast it's going on and you just need to replace for new one. For me, it took two or three days uh, when I realized it's totally dry and uh, everything okay. So once it's done, um, before using your camera, I will suggest uh, check all metal parts, uh, if there is rust uh, or lens, if there is a mold or even fungus. If something wrong with camera, I will suggest go to service center and uh, give your camera to professional hands. As I mentioned before, in my case everything was fine, so I just check my camera and start using again. As alternative, you can put your camera inside the pillow and use hair dryer. The only one I can suggest, be careful with hot air because it can damage uh, lens or display. Uh, also, I wanna tell you, I'm not a professional technical uh, repair, so everything what you will do, it's on your own shoulders. And if you worry about your camera, better always to check with professional uh, guys who will do this uh, in service center. So let's talk about how to prevent this kind of situation. Maybe it's obvious, but the most important is always check your gear before each dive. Check all connections, all O-rings, because 99% of all problems coming from there. Uh, don't forget to uh, use uh, silicone loop for O-rings. Also, if you have an option, just remove air with uh, vacuum pump and always check uh, your alarm system for leaking if you have that. It will help you to realize uh, something going wrong uh, if uh, water inside your housing. Mm -hmm. 